So anyway, we went to the gambling club after the show and I won a fucking fortune and he was taking his blonde bird back to the house and Jesus Christ, she was a bobby dazzler. We like what? Oh, hey, welcome to that part of the show again. It's me, Dickie Dickinson, where we take one of you, our lovely viewers, and value some of your items you've got at home because you're deflated. You don't want to hang up on your fucking walls. You want the cash. And if someone that's died in your family's left them to you, you're desperately up for the cash. Now, this week, we got this lovely painting here right, from Little Betty at 83 Moore Street. And uh, she lived just next to our, our next customer, who, well, our next viewer, who's actually a police officer. Um, PC Constable, he lives in um, uh, that Let's Be Having You, and uh, he likes a bit of I, I arrest you for dinner. Ha 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 ha, and all that stuff. Uh, last time I said that, I lost all my teeth, and he can still say they're fucking missing now. Uh, right, let's go into the picture. Now, we've got some lovely, lovely ladies here. Lovely ladies. And what they're doing is making a pot of soup, a pot of broth. Uh, in fact, um, what they've done is they've gone out in a day, and uh, the men have come back and, and bought themselves some uh, food and wheat and stuff like that couple of dead cats, whatever you want, stuff them in there, put a bit of heat underneath, and the girls just come out and that's it, they're away. And if you look at this lady here, she looks very jolly. She's got a bit of a, one of those buck teeth that stick out. I don't know, even that, or she's got a fag stuck in her mouth. Now, this one here is looking very jolly as well. That's good for the picture because the way they're stuck in their feet here means they're happy. That puts a bit of value to the picture because let's face it, if you had a very sad looking picture, it wouldn't be worth a fucking toss, would it? Now, here, what's happened here? In the process of this picture being painted over the years, some idiot has come along and spilt a pot of ink. Here, right in the middle. Can you see it's just plushed over? Instead of clearing it up, before, hold on a minute, my fucking nan's going to see what's happened here. She's going to go fucking mad. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to wipe it a bit of a rag. You know, a, a bit of a, you know, you know we'd serve it on the dinner table, right? And that's it, that's how he's left it. So little Johnny, or whatever his name is, has actually put his mark on it, and Nan didn't notice before she died. That's very unfortunate for Nan, but very fortunate for Johnny. But it's unfortunate for Johnny because the value of the painting's gone down, you stupid lad. Uh, anyway, now the tree's in the middle. Let's stop the girls getting back to the gaff after they've made the dinner. So because little Johnny's put this bloody gate tree here, they've got no way around it to climb over. I mean, it doesn't look big there, but it's quite a big tree. It's quite a big tree, and um, they've got to climb over all the way around, as you can see. Uh, plus, they're going to get wet in Columbia. It should be, should be wet now. Uh, in, the, in the house now, they've got Sid and Dave, who have been out all day getting lots and lots of feed for the, for the, you know, for the broth. The lady's gone out done that. Johnny's come along, smacked the tree in the middle. That's it. They're going to starve. They're going to go mad. And when they realise the dinner's right ready at 6 o'clock, John and, and all the boys in there, they're going to come out, they're going to do the fucking nut. And the, the, the worst thing they do is they're going to light it up and burn the roof on this little flat cottage. And then uh, basically that's what the picture's saying. The, picture's, the, the name of this picture is, your dinner's so near, but yet so far. That's what it is. So, value in this picture, um, I would say, basically, um, with the artwork of little Johnny, who probably did get his ass whipped by Nan for doing that. If he didn't, he's a lucky lad. But if you, Johnny, actually, if it was you that bought this picture and give it to your aunt, I would say you're a stupid boy because you've lost a lot of money out. Because this picture, unscathed, would be valued at around £32. With Johnny's little bit of artwork there, thinking he's bloody Banksy, it now values it at absolutely fuck all. That's zero, zero, zero pence. So Johnny, it did well, and uh, I'm sorry, my love, but that's seriously it. It's not worth a wank. And at the end of the day, why would you want to buy a picture with two birds cooking dinner and two blokes starving in there and some tree in the middle that can't climb over? Ah, oh, you're fucking mad. Anyway... That's the end of this part of the show, as usual with me, Dickie Dickinson. It's a Bobby Dazzler, it's a real steal, it's bollocks. See you soon.